everybody welcome back or welcome for the first time this is pyro stitches my name is brianna and today is a little special floss tube where i'm doing a finish parade a very interesting finish parade these a lot of things i don't have or they're like stuck to the walls so we're definitely focusing on things i can physically grab and show you. I um I also plan to maybe do a montage of the other ones or I saw one out of the corner of my eye that's not next to me. It's sitting over there. Let's see. Alright, I grabbed it. And um so so we're definitely gonna go through that. Um I know in the last video, people heard my lovely little cat that's downstairs with his little bell dingling. So I will be showing the cats as well. Stay tuned for cats. Everyone loves cats. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't have, like, the dates for a lot of this stuff. I can go back to, like, mid-year last year and go forward. But the earlier stuff... I don't know, like, when I stitch them versus others. So we're just kind of going to go with it. I know one in particular, because it was the first one I had done from a pattern and not a kit or anything. Um, but from there on, nah, I have no idea. <laughs> I am probably going to just put the, I'll say, the designers as we're going, and then I'll put everything in order in the description. I probably won't be flashing names on the screen. Just because that would take a lot from this. Also, welcome to the set, Mickey Minnie. I figured it's June. I could put them up here. They're my cuties. I love them. I also hung up some mushrooms and flowers that I painted for Michael's. They had like a bunch of little spring wood things. So cute. So cute. They were like a dollar. I was like, oh, perfect. Just paint them. Put them up. All right. Here is... It's so sad. It's like the only one I have that's just kind of sitting around. It's not finished. Finished. Um, it was the first one I did from a from a pattern online that I got. This was from uh, the Stitch Patterns, and it is just the cutest little owl. Um, I didn't. I haven't finished this at all because. It's a weird size. It wouldn't really fit in a frame well. I, it was also very close to the edge. It wouldn't really go in a hoop. It's a, it's just a weird size. It's so cute. I did it around Valentine's of 2020. Because I love owls. It's just so small and cute. Love this one. Love that one. I'm just going to grab them and talk. So this one is also by the Stitch Pattern. It is a little cat, and I believe the actual pattern has a moon here, but I didn't want to do a moon. I wanted to do a little yarn ball because I was testing out, um, it was the first time I was using variegated thread. And yeah, I just wanted to see it. I just wanted to work on something that was very basic and you know, just the shape of a cat. And I was like, I want to do a moon. Because cat with like a moon is a little weird. Especially like the variegated threads. Like, yeah. But I did a little, a little yarn ball instead. And it's just so cute. I like how it came out. I, I know more of how to use the variegated thread, threads now. Because um, you, you can't do the, you know, stitch a whole row and then back. You have to like stitch each one individually. I learned that after this piece. So it's a little, it's not perfect, but it's so cute. This one is also from the stitch pattern. So I believe it's actually four turtles. You're going to notice I change the patterns a lot and just kind of stitch what I want to. And I did a cute little green turtle and a pink turtle. My partner usually has this over their desk. Um, I use like 
the light effects pink on this and that was just torture. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've really used the light effects since. Um, I don't know if it's going to pick up or not. But this one is such a cute little one. I know this one was definitely done in the summer. Probably summer of 21. But I'm not sure. Because I like to change out. I try and did a bunch of like little ones like this just to change out with the seasons. And this is a little summer one. So that's why I think it was probably in summer. But it also could have been a Christmas gift for my partner. I don't remember, honestly. And his birthday's in September. Makes it even harder to remember. It might have been for that, honestly. Um, let's see. Another stitch pattern. Ah, here's another one from the stitch patterns. I just got their, like, shop patterns. I've done a ton. I do, I love their little mini, um, art pieces as well. Um, this one I did for, I believe it was Christmas, not 2020. Um, me and my partner have this one hanging in our bedroom. It's just the cutest little birds. I believe this one's a whole wreath with the actual pattern. And I just did a little, I don't know what you would call it. Like, just like a little decoration. I know, like, they have it in, like, the, in The Sims 4. You have, like, little table decorations that are just, like, a little, like, a little mini thing of, like, tree. You know, when you have a tree and you gotta, like, add extra to make it look nicer. But it's just, like, a short little mini. I don't know. Anyway. This is just so cute. We love this one. We have it up all year because it's just so cute. All right. Let's see, here's another old one. Here's another little old one. This is um, Cats and Pumpkin by My Easy Stitch. I did this for Halloween. 21? Yeah, probably 20, 21. I guess it's no. It's hard to keep track, but like I know I was in college. <laughs> I did it as called for, except for this little guy. I made his eyes green because my little black cat's eyes are green. So I thought making one look like him would be really cute. I love the colors. I believe I messed up somewhere in the pumpkin pattern. And I'm not, I don't, it takes a lot for me to frog something. I'll usually just be like, how much does it really matter? And keep going. <laughs> it takes a lot. You know, it's gotta be something that's like perfectly symmetrical, but like this pumpkin pattern, even in the actual pattern was not. So I just kind of went with it. While we're on pumpkins, I'll show you this little guy. This is Pumpkin Pal by Infinity Bear Designs. I'm not sure about this one because the colors just seem off to me. Um. I don't like to look at it too much because the, the, the one shade of orange really stands out. I don't know. I think I might have messed up the colors um, while making this. Um, it's still a cute little guy, especially from like far away and I don't look at it too much. I'm like, that's so cute. But like up close and I see that like, I don't know. I love Infinity Bear designs. I haven't made any others yet, but... I know they were in the Earth Day um, collective, and I wanted to do that one, the little Earth, it's like a little donut. That one's so cute. And then I also have their, another pattern of theirs that I wanted to stitch. I don't know when I'll get to it. But yeah. And let's round out Halloween ones with this tiny little guy. Um, this is from Just Cross Stitch 2022 Halloween uh, edition. So I, de uh, I definitely made it last year. And um, I was going to try and go back and find the designer or any other information on this piece. But um, I'd use it through Kindle Unlimited and it was not there anymore. So 
No idea. If you know who designed this cute little cauldron and bird, let me know. Because I'll add it to the description. Otherwise, it was in the 2022 Halloween edition. I hope I can get my hands on the 2023. Because I just, I love Halloween stitches. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like I've done many. I guess I don't really do too many. It's just, it is how I celebrate the seasons is stitching in one last little Halloween piece uh, this is supposed to be a Halloween cupcake I definitely did not have enough room to put the cupcake part and my partner he was like oh it looks like pudding I'm gonna call it pudding and this is little pudding is what we call it this is from Cross Stitch Foxy. There we go. Their patterns are quite large. And this is the only one I've. No, that's a lie. You'll see another one that I've stitched up. But this was my first time with 18 count. And I, I think it's 18 at least. It was very, very tiny. And it was really hard for me to work with it, um, honestly. And I was kind of happy that I could just stop early. <laughs> this. I stick with 16 count and 14 count Ada and um, this experience did not make me want to continue working with 18, I'll say that. Um, look at that little spider and little puddin'. Puddin's grown on me. I was so annoyed with her when I was making her and immediately after, but little puddin'. Here is another stitch I made for my partner. This is Zelda from Breath of the Wild. It is designed by Prism Palette Patterns. Um, I have the whole little pattern set of the characters in the kind of um, tapestry guard style. I've only made Zelda so far. And she's just so pretty. I love seeing her hanging there. So she's a little dusty. Um, yeah, she's so cute. Look at that. I just, I love, I, I really like the, um, like, tapestry aesthetic of that game. Um, but yeah. Um... I'm going to show three that I know. I know the dates for two of them, but they're kind of like, I like to think of them as a little set. Here's the first one I did, probably 20, 2021 for sure, actually. Cause it was right before I moved. I made this little one to hang up at my apartment before I moved. Um, this is the Christmas tree bulb was door from so nerdy by Brie. Um, I don't know how you actually pronounce it. As a Brianna, I like to think it's probably Brie. It's B R E I G H, and so is C E W. You'll see it down below. But here's the first Bulbasaur I've done of theirs with the little Christmas tree. It's so cute. Oh, uh, it's got a little star. I start you on top. It's just so cute and small and just the perfect little Christmas decoration. And then here is um, the fall one I did last fall. And it is so cute. The circle is 100% off. But like I said, I don't frog. And I don't look too close and I don't notice most of the time when it's done, when it was hanging up last year. Didn't, didn't pay close enough attention, didn't notice. I love this little guy. So cute. Same designer. And then here's the most recent one I did, actually. Um, in either April or May. 
probably April into May. And this is my little spring Bulbasaur. He's so cute. I finished him on one of those little like wooden things from Michael's, you know, like in the 99 cent like section. Uh, just glued his corners down and put them here. I have more Bulbasaurs I want to make. I want to, I want to have a summer one. I haven't bought a summer one yet, but I do own the Valentine's one. So I'll probably do that next year. <laughs> and then I own a Thanksgiving one actually. I don't know why I got the Thanksgiving one. I hate Thanksgiving. Um, but I think I'll make that one this year if I am not too busy with other projects around then. This isn't like... Anyway. Just gonna like figure out where to keep putting these projects as I go over them so I don't like accidentally grab them again. Now we have two that I um, designed. This one is um, a frog pond and a slice of cake purple cake I don't know what or purple frosting I don't know maybe a blueberry or blackberry and just a happy little frog so this piece is really cute I still have all the extra bits of, of fabric because I just haven't hung this one up I've had this one done for a while because I did this one last summer and it's just kind of sitting here Another one I have is this cute little bunny I did for Easter last year. Uh, Easter slash spring. I found the, the like the rough outline on Pinterest, I think. Um, used that and then did my own uh, floral design on the inside is all my. And it's just so cute. I really like this one. I like the, the color of the, the Ada with like that nice minty. It's not really picking up minty very well, but maybe not. Yeah, it kind of helps. It's very, very cute. Doesn't help the, you know, the walls are green here. Um, love this little piece. It's so cute. So now we can move into pieces I know when I did them. This one was December of 22. This one's very, very pretty. This was, um, so this one is by Box and Fox, and I did this in December. It was just so nice. I really like it. It's just a little cat, you know, trying to have a little house. I did, um, Sparkle, the Etoile DMC for the light. They're yellow in the pattern. I made them red and green for a little bit of extra Christmassy flair. I actually really, really love doing this house. Um, which I didn't think I would like like that much, but it made me really want to stitch more houses. And like, as you'll see, I didn't do any more houses and I haven't. I don't even think I have any other patterns with houses in them currently. But this one is so cute. So cute. And that was probably my last one of 22. Here's another one I self-designed that I did right after. So this might technically be the last one or into uh, 23. It's probably like January of 23 is when I did this one. This is Fido. It is a Pokemon from the newest Pokemon game, uh, Scarlet and Violet. It is just a little dog that's like bred. <laughs> it was the cutest little thing and I used her on my team and she was just a powerhouse just annihilated everything she was amazing for me and she's just so cute look at that little lemon bun this is how I like to think of her so then going into this year um, I've been doing a lot of bigger whips like you saw the form of magic cell and like the Maloka and the Carolyn Manning and those are a lot of bigger ones um but here is 
I also have some others that I'll show you that I did in between these that are not able to be grabbed right now. But here is one of my more recent finishes from the Earth Day, um, the Earth Day collection. This is, it has like one name in the, in the files and then another online. I think it's Reclamation. Um, this is, uh, by the Stitch Crypt. I added a little heart, um, because my partner thought that would be just so cute, and I agreed, and it is adorable. A little snack that I like to give a little boop, you know, boop snack. This piece is very cute. This skull was not the funnest to stitch, but it looks great. I felt like the skull took me forever and it, it didn't, it didn't take me that long at all, but it just like, I don't know why, just so many shades are very similar, but it really does give that really nice effect. Like this is a beautiful pattern. Absolutely beautiful. All those, all of those charity ones were beautiful. And speaking of the Earth Day charity ones, here is the... Here's a uh, Fossey Fox Shops Arctic Friends from that collection. It's so cute. I love the colors. They're the same one. This is the Sal, basically, just dumped down to, or not dumped down, but like lessened to just blue and pinks, blues and pinks. It has my favorite DMC nine nine six four in here, and like the whale and the light blue and then the pinks. And I did a. I actually did a variegated pink for the hearts, but you can't really tell too much. Other than you can see these one, this one's darker, and this one is lighter down here. That one's super cute. I'm now realizing I've missed some, because I know there's one on the wall over there. So we will cut back um, after I finish the ones I have right here. I also forgot to do this one. This was from December. This one is from the Stitch Patterns. It was in a little collection of Christmas cactuses, but I just love this one because I have a little, a little domino cactus. It's actually gonna flower soon, which is so exciting. I love it. You know, it flowers for, um, it flowers at night and for like one day only, and it's just so beautiful. Huge, huge flower. Um, I did some sparkle. And I just like this little Christmas cactus because I'm, I like cactus, I like Christmas. <laughs> now here is one of my most recent finishes. This is, <clears throat> this is Hisuian Arcanine um, from Bees on Toast. They did all the Hisuian Lords, um, which if you don't know. Pokemon, you have no idea what I just said. Um, there was a, a Pokemon game called uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and there were, which is like set in like the, the far back past, and uh, it's got like that kind of traditional art style. Um, and there's like little bosses you have to defeat, and and this Arcanine is one of them. And I just, I love Hisui and Arcanine. Like, I know it's terrible, like, in Growlithe, a terrible typing. But they're so cute. So cute. And so I made this one. It's the, the whole, the whole pattern has the whole set. Um, I don't know if I'll do the whole set. I think I'm, I'm, like, the only one in the house who played that game. So it's just for me. And it's just so cute. Small little one. Um, yeah, I'll be right back with a few things I forgot. And then we'll also cut to a montage after. All right, I'm back. I couldn't find one of the ones I was thinking of, which was one that I self-designed. That was a little um, monarch butterfly because I'm from I'm from New England. I'm from New Hampshire, and I really just associate monarch butterflies with being out there. We raised them in like second grade class. It was so cute. I think that's the only reason I associate them with out there. Like I know we get butterflies out here, you know. Anyway, here is one of the patterns I forgot to grab. This is a beautiful owl. I did a complete, um, 
color change, palette swap, if you will. This is from the Fun and Funky Cross Stitch um, book magazine. It was on Kindle Unlimited. It was designed by Fiona Baker, and and there's like a little four part. Um, there's like four little different patterns. This one's an owl. There was a squirrel and a deer and. I don't remember what the last one was. I'm a huge owl girl. Love owls. And, um, yeah. So there's that one. That was fall last year. I did that one. I don't know when the magazine came out. I just know I got it on unlimited then. Here's a little one. This is one of the first things I self-designed. It's just a little blueberry cow. I believe it was like a play on somebody who did a strawberry cow that I saw when I like googled cross strawberry cow probably and I was like oh that's cute what if I made it blueberry because I'm a little blueberry girl you know anyway so before we cut away to things that are in other places and cats I just wanted to let everyone know a little a little personal update of I've been having some wrist issues, so my end of June like wrap up video is going to be a little different. I haven't stitched nearly as much as I normally do because I've been using my left hand and that's a lot slower, it gets tired easier, it's just, it's a mess. I forgot my most recent one. My most recent dinner. One second again. Alright. I went and got it. This is my most recent finish. It is the stunning little potion bottle from the Pride Collection. I stitched this in like three days with my left hand. That tells you about how slow it is. Because it probably would have taken me one day with my right hand. It is so cute. So stunning. Little effects or sparkles. Um, I love this piece. This is from Fox Glove. It'll be down below. It is in the Pride Collection, which is still available right now. I believe it's available all month. And I highly suggest it. Very beautiful patterns. I have so many I want to stitch from it. Like the little mushroom, the cloud, the little... Oh my god, Marumi Designs, um, Cape Bee, Cape Queen Bee, that, that asexual bee is stunning, highly recommend, I cannot wait to stitch that, it's gonna be beautiful, yeah, you'll probably see this again in the June wrap up, I'll keep that around, um, but like I was saying, um, June will probably be a little weird, hopefully things will get better. I have some, you know, I, I don't know what's wrong with my wrist. They don't know what's wrong with my wrist. They know it's probably not carpal tunnel, but that's about it. So we'll figure that out as it comes. Sorry to just like, at you. A lot of things you probably don't care about your hair for the finish parade. So. Before we cut back into the montage of pictures of finished things, let's go, let's go find some cats. Here we are, this is Midnight. He's the little culprit with the jingling bell. He's the one I did um, changes to most black cat patterns to give him green eyes. It's because of this cutie. The cats hate cameras, but Yeah, here's this little guy. He's so cute. I made him this pillow. It's horrifically dirty. I also don't have a sewing machine or anything, so it's all hand stitched and looks like a Frankenstein monstrosity, but he loves it. He likes to sleep with it. Although it looks like someone's been ripping it, so I don't know how much longer they'll be sleeping with it. So then this little guy over here is orange. Also known as uh, Squeak, I believe is his government name, but everyone calls him Orange. He's like my little brother. 
he was just sleeping and I must have startled him when I came over because he gave me that awful look. And um, yeah, he loves to yell. He'll never do it on camera though, unless he doesn't know there's a camera around, which would probably be the case with me filming upstairs and him, you know, living down here. But here he is, so cute. Oh, yeah, you can go back to sleep, buddy. Anyway, I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, finished parade, even with its, you know, weird editing and about the cat. And I hope you like seeing the cats. Um, couldn't find a video of the third one, so I'm sure I inserted a picture. She's quite shy, so she probably heard me talking and was like, mm-mm, running away. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Bye.